Hi guys, it's me, Lily. I am back with another tower reading for you guys today. Yes, yes, yes. I hope you all had a beautiful Valentine's Day. So as requested, I am doing some videos today, maybe two. Um, the first will be Virgo versus Scorpio, okay? So my request of Virgo versus Scorpio um, and their love situation, what's going on at this time. So I hope to give you guys a good reading today for Virgo and Scorpio. So let's begin with some Oracle messages. Let's see how Virgo is feeling currently about Scorpio, okay? So let's go with the love Oracle messages, the lover's Oracle. Um, Spirit, please speak to me. Spirit, please speak to me about how Virgos are feeling towards their Scorpio partners in love at this time. How is Virgos feeling towards their Scorpio partners at, their, at this time? How are the zodiac signs of Virgo feeling towards their Scorpio partner at this time? How is the zodiac sign of Virgo feeling for their Scorpio partner at this time? How is the zodiac sign of Virgo feeling towards their Scorpio partner at this time? Okay. All right, so I'm going to do first, I'm going to be, if you guys never witnessed my verses before, um, I'm going to be doing Virgos first. I'm going to be pulling their cards first, um, then doing the tarot afterward. I'm doing it a little bit different today. Doing the Oracle messages for Virgo side. Then I'm doing the, or the Oracle messages for Scorpio side and doing tarot on their side as well. Okay, so I will show you the cards as I pull them. Don't worry, okay? You'll see everything. I try to, let me move it down a little bit. Yeah, see if that works better. And thank you guys for watching and supporting my channel. I appreciate all you new subbies, all you new subscribers to the channel and people who've just been watching. I try not to make my boobs speak too much to the camera, but what could I say? It's there. <laughs> so um, let's see. Virgo and their relationship with Scorpio. What is going on? Virgos and their relationship with Scorpio. What is going on? Let me see how they hit the screen. Virgos and their relationship with Scorpio. Oh, wow. You guys are flying all over the place. Hold on one second, guys. Okay. Wow. Let's see what these energies are about. Okay. Virgo and uh, Virgos. How are Virgos feeling towards their Scorpio partner at this time? See, all this stuff is happening today. What's going on? How is Virgo feeling towards... <laughs> I hope there's nothing bad going on. How are Virgos feeling towards their Scorpio partner at this time? Okay, so I got a few cards. All right, now let me pull some cards for Scorpio. How is Scorpio feeling towards their Virgo partner at this time? Ooh. How is Scorpio feeling towards their Virgo partner at this time? How is Scorpio's feeling towards their Virgo partner at this time? How are Scorpio's feeling towards their Virgo partner at this time? How are Scorpio's feeling towards their Virgo partner at this time? How are Scorpio's feeling towards their Virgo partner at this time? How are Scorpio's feeling? One more card towards their Virgo partner at this time. Okay, I got two cards. Okay, so let's see what we have here, guys. Interesting. Virgo side was very intense. So I don't know if their feelings are a little bit more crazy than Scorpio at this time. So let's see. Okay, so for, for Virgo side, their oracle messages. It says, I cry at night. This is Virgo side. I cry at night. People don't believe in me. Seems like some self-esteem issues going on here. The heat between us is intense. Ooh, strong sexual passion and strong sexual energy. You know, I like to talk about that. <laughs> good sexual vibes, good passion between you two. You are so different from everyone around me. Ooh. So this is how Virgo might be feeling towards Scorpio at this time in their love situation. What is the truth? Okay, so somebody's questioning in this relationship. The truth. What is the truth? Maybe there's somebody who's been concealing something and whoever's energy this is wants to know, okay? So, Spirit, speak to me about how Virgo is feeling towards Scorpio and their love relationship at this time. 
How is Virgo feeling towards Scorpio and their love relationship at this time, Spirit? How is Virgo feeling towards Scorpio and their love relationship at this time? Okay, the lovers. Ooh, Gemini energy. Okay, so you guys have the strong passion that, like it said, the heat between us is intense. The lovers, Gemini energy. How is Virgo feeling towards their Scorpio partner at this time in love? How is Virgo feeling towards their Scorpio partner in love at this time? How is Virgo feeling towards their Scorpio partner in love at this time, Spirit? Okay, Page of Wands. Good news. Somebody wants to talk. This person that you might be dealing with could be a little bit younger in age. Uh, but somebody wants to talk. Somebody wants to get something off their chest. Maybe it might be positive news. So we'll see when we clarify the cards. Okay? So this is Virgo side. Uh, so we have the lovers and we have the page of wands, which is um, fire energy. Um, tell me how Virgo is feeling towards their Scorpio partner at this time in love. How is Virgo feeling towards their Scorpio partner in love at this time? How is Virgo feeling towards their Scorpio partner in love at this time, spirit? Okay, so we have the Fool, Aries energy, a new beginning. So somebody wants to talk about having some kind of new beginning after possibly a missed opportunity. Yeah, because there was an ending here. Scorpio energy, okay? So we got four cards for you guys. So let's clarify for Virgo side, okay? This is Virgo side. So it says the lovers came out first. So there's strong passion, heat between you guys, according to Virgo. <laughs> Somebody wants to talk about this love situation that you guys have. Somebody wants to talk. Um, they want to have a new beginning with you with the full energy. They want to talk about this new beginning. And this could be a card of lacking interest, being dissatisfied, maybe um, not sure at this time. So let's clarify. I'm concerned about the Four of Cups. Maybe this is a rekindling of a past romance or maybe something happened between you guys because it says what is the truth you know so maybe somebody's interested in knowing the truth before they pursue any other romantic endeavors with scorpio or virgo whoever side that you know it you know that applies to so let's see how is virgo feeling towards scorpio so let's pull these cards first guys the lovers why, how is Virgo, okay, Virgo feeling towards Scorp Scorpio. Why is the lovers here for Virgo? Why is the lovers here for Virgo? Okay, it's a few cards. All right, somebody wants to move toward Karma Warders. Maybe there was like a turbulent ending because remember we saw the death card at the bottom of the deck. There was a turbulent ending. So somebody is trying to move into Karma Warders. They want to make peace. For sure. Somebody wants to make peace because we have justice here. Um, I don't know if there's any criminal justice or family justice case going on at this time between Virgo and Scorpio. But this is also Libra energy. And somebody just wants to balance things. They want to make things peaceful at this time between you two. And somebody wants to figure out what went wrong. You know, they want to figure out the long-term view of the situation and this connection. And... Um, how to probably move better moving forward. Because I feel like what I'm picking up on intuitively, I feel like somebody was very insecure, like what the cards had said in this situation. And maybe their insecurities caused them to like um, be very defensive, be very aggressive in some ways with their words or harsh with their words. Um, maybe saying things that would hurt your feelings in some situations, make you feel like you weren't loved enough. So... Um, some of you, I feel like sometimes this could be the other energy. If it's Virgo or Scorpio, this could also mean that somebody is like really harping on what somebody said or did. And they're trying to figure out like, where did we go wrong? Where did we go wrong? Everything was fine. You know, I know we had our, our moments. I know we had our bad times, but where did we really go wrong? So somebody's kind of taking all the blame in this situation is what I'm getting from this Seven of Pentacles. Earth energy. Um, could be you Virgos because you guys are earth signs, but, um, and then we have the five of swords behind. Yeah. So somebody's feeling like they have to defend themselves. They feel like they had to protect themselves sometimes in arguments or fight situations. They always feel like they need to feel, feel the need to stand their ground in some situations. All right. Why is a page of wands here for Virgo in their love situation with Scorpio? 
Why is the Page of Wands here for Virgo and their love situation with Scorpio? Why is the Page of Wands here for Virgos? Why is the Page of Wands here for Virgos? What is this about? This Page of Wands for Virgos? Why is Page of Wands here? Okay. So, yeah, something, a cycle had ended. So, somebody wants, yeah, something ended with the world card. And somebody wants to balance the scales. We have two scales cards. We have the Justice and we have the Six of Pentacles, okay? So somebody really wants to make peace. Somebody wants equal give and take, you know, generosity moving forward. They don't want to feel like they're the only one who's giving to a situation. They want to feel like you both are invested with the Seven of Pentacles as well. That you guys are both are invested in this connection. And they want to have a rebirth of the situation is what I'm getting. They want to have a rebirth with the world even though something came to an end maybe a cycle with you guys came to an end or this could be even speaking of a long distance situation that you might have but somebody wants to um be able to is what i'm getting to revive the connection um they're having some kind of fears and anxieties about this at this time they don't know if things are going to work out in their favor with this nine of swords energy so let's see, what is the Six of Pentacles? What is the world in the Six of Pentacles for Virgo in their love situation with Scorpio? What is the world in the Six of Pentacles for Virgo and Scorpio in their love situation? What is the world for Virgo and Scorpio in their love situation at this time? Okay. Yeah, somebody felt insecure or abandoned in, in, in this connection. They felt like somebody was probably giving more to another situation. Then the other, you see the belt, the skills were imbalanced. So maybe it could be third party energy. I'm not quite sure if it's your situation, that's your situation. But someone definitely felt abandoned or neglected in this situation with this ending. And they're kind of insecure is what I'm getting with this page of swords. They're, like I said before, they're kind of insecure about moving forward um, because of some past strife that you might have had or feeling inadequate, like I said before. So some people some either Virgo or Scorpio is cautious or both of you are cautious at this time about moving forward so with the page wants to fool now let's see why the fool is here why is the fool here for Virgo in their love situation with Scorpio why is the fool here for Virgos in their love situation with Scorpio why is the fool here for Virgos in their love situation with Scorpio yeah somebody's feeling defensive they're feeling on edge about this new beginning they don't really quite know if they should really take this risk again is what I'm getting as well because of what happened in the past. Maybe it doesn't even have to do with your situation between you, your new relationship with Virgo and Scorpio. It could be somebody's past relationship that might be causing somebody to be cautious, very cautious at this time. Very paranoid, very like untrusting untrust of people at this time. Um... So I believe that's why the Five of Swords is here because we have the Page of Swords again at the bottom of the deck. So somebody wants to offer some stability, but somebody's a little bit cautious about this at this time with the full energy. Why is the Four of Cups here for Virgos in their love situation? Why is the Four of Cups here for Virgos and Scorpios in their love situation? Why is the Four of Cups here for Virgos and Scorpios in their love situation, Spirit? What is this Four of Cups speaking about? What is this Four of Cups speaking about for Virgos and Scorpios in their love situation? Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, we had the death, right? So there was an ending. So somebody feels the need to hold back with this Four of Pentacles energy. This is the first card we got. They don't want to offer stability at this time. That's why they're holding on to this Pentacle for dear life. Uh, but somebody is looking for a victory in this situation in a new beginning with this Ace of Wands, right? A lot of fire energy, a lot of passion. Um, but somebody's hold back. They're holding back from making a steady offer at this time because there's still a lot of insecurities and a lot of doubts in the situation. But somebody does want victory. Either one of you or two of you both want victory. Somebody wants a new start with this Ace of Wands or possibly just passion. Take it where it applies. Because the Ace of Wands could mean somebody just really wants to give you some love. Because <laughs> we say the heat between us is intense. So somebody might really just want to give you some love at this time. But they may, be, they may not be looking for something serious. Take it wherever it applies. Take it wherever it does apply. Somebody's holding back. Somebody's being reluctant, stubborn, possibly. 
um, just not willing to give right now for whatever reason. This offer, this stability. But they're willing to play with you. That's for sure. They're willing to play with you. So it depends on you guys, whoever the situation is. This is Virgo side, but if this applies for Scorpio or both of you, if you guys are willing to just take this thing, um, if this is like a situation that happened in the past where you guys were both together and things just didn't work and you just want to take things slowly now and see where it leads, I feel there's a strong potential that it could lead to something. But like I always say in my tarot readings, Please only take it if it applies to your situation, okay? If it does not apply, do not take it with you. And if it was a toxic relationship where you felt the person was very paranoid, aggressive, um, rude, disrespected you, and you feel like you just can't deal with it anymore, even though you love the person or you have strong passion, don't confuse passion with love, okay? Love and passion is two different things, okay? Passion is just like sexual, lust, you know intensity just like the card said but love is different people are going to respect you when they love you so if you don't feel like you've been respected in this situation and you have to cry at night and something someone was keeping secrets from you with this four of pentacles then i don't feel like it's worth your time you know but if you're okay with possibly just a sexual relationship then if you could separate your feelings your emotions do whatever works for you guys. I can't tell you what to do. You guys are grown people. I hope everybody that's watching this video. All right, so let's do Scorpio side now. Okay, so for Scorpio, the Oracle messages. Don't wait for me, please. You see? The Four of Cups. Don't wait for me, please. Somebody wants to take their time. Four of Pentacles as well. Um, there's two fours. So four is typically, you know, meaning stability. So somebody is not quite sure if they want this as yet. With Scorpio, on the Scorpio side, don't wait for me, please. It says, don't wait for them. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. It is dark without you. So, yeah, I do believe there's, you know, there was a strong connection. If this is a revival of something that happened in the past. You were right. All right. Um, you were right. Whatever situation that could mean. I am better with my mind than my heart. So I didn't see a lot of swords energy, but maybe somebody, like I said, is very insecure in a situation. They feel like they're better with their mind control than when it comes to heart related matters. Maybe that's why there's strong passion, but not so much lust. Not so much. Um, sorry, not lust. <laughs> not so much stability. Um, these feelings are eating me alive. Okay. So let's see how Scorpio is feeling towards Virgo. The energy feels um kind of like, I, I wouldn't say it's a negative energy, but I do feel like it's very heavy. It's a heavy energy between Virgo and Scorpio for whoever I'm reading for, whoever situation this applies to. It feels heavy. It does feel like there's a strong connection here, but something does feel heavy at this time. So... I think everybody just needs to lay their cards out on the table if you guys were to pursue something serious. Um, but whoever is on this side saying that they don't wait for me, please. If you've been seeing red flags that somebody's not willing to move forward at this time with the full energy, leave it alone, bro or sis. Please don't waste time. Life is too precious, too short. All right. How is Scorpio feeling towards Virgo at this time? How is Scorpio feeling towards Virgo at this time in their love relationship, their love situation? How is Scorpio feeling towards Virgo at this time in their love situation? How is Virgo feeling at this time towards, sorry, how is Scorpio feeling towards Virgo at this time in their love situation? How is Scorpio feeling towards Virgo at this time in their love situation, spirit? Scorpio feeling towards Virgo in their love situation at this time. Scorpio. How is Scorpio feeling towards Virgo in their love situation at this time? All right, page of wands, mutual energy. Somebody does want to talk. They want to have the good news. They want the potential for something good to happen or to come out of this. Whether it's, <laughs> I hate to say it, whether it's just um, a booty call or, you know, something a little bit more stable moving toward, after, you know, like progressing slowly is what I'm getting from this too. Like somebody wants something with you, but they want to move things very slow with this page of wands energy. So you both feel the same way. You both want to talk with the page of wands. Somebody definitely feels like um, 
they're not sure at this time. They're a little disinterested. They don't know if they want to offer their full emotions at this time is what I'm getting with this Four of Cups. We got this for a Virgo side as well. So this could be a shared energy between you two as well as this, the Page of Wands. Both of you want to talk. You want the good news. You want something good moving forward with one another. So tell me, how is Scorpio feeling towards Virgo and their situation at this time? How is Scorpio feeling towards Virgo and their love situation, Spirit? Scorpio. Six of, six of Cups. Okay, so somebody's very nostalgic. They have they share great memories from you with you from their past. From the past. They they reminisce often about the past that you guys had, the great times, the great moments, the great memories. And this is what keeps, you know, popping up in their head. Is what I'm getting too with the page of wands. I keep thinking about the good times that you guys once had. They do want to make peace as well. You see, justice came back out too. So, and the six of swords. So look, it looks like you guys are very much in sync with one another at this time. You guys are looking like you're seeing, for the most part, eye to eye. Um, it just feels like one energy is a little bit more reluctant to have something serious than the other. So let's see. Let me continue. I'm sorry, guys. How is Scorpio feeling towards Virgo in their love situation at this time, spirit? How is Scorpio feeling towards Virgo? Okay, Seven of Cups. Yeah, somebody's a little confused. They don't really know what they want to do as far as this option, these opportunities that they have. Maybe somebody might have a lot of opportunities at this time. And right now, they don't know what to do. They're trying to get a new perspective on things. Based off of what happened possibly in the past. So let's clarify later on. Um, how is Scorpio feeling towards Virgo in their love situation at this time? How is Scorpio feeling towards Virgo? And their love situation at this time. How is Scorpio feeling towards Virgo? All right, King of Swords. All right, so somebody's feeling a little bit um, cold, a little bit um, hurt, I'm getting with this energy. They want the truth. You see, what is the truth is what I'm getting too. They want the truth in this situation. And maybe that's the only way that they could really move forward until they get this truth. They want to have a serious talk. They don't want to just like reminisce about the past with you. They want to have a serious conversation moving forward. So somebody is confused and they want more clarity on a situation. This is the Scorpio side. So take it wherever energy, where the energy applies. Why is the Page of Wands here for Scorpio towards Virgo and their love situation? Why is the Page of Wands here for Scorpio? Ooh, okay. Oh my gosh, you guys are pulling similar cards, same thing. Someone's feeling insecure, neglected, um, possibly by what somebody said with the Queen of Swords energy. Somebody might have said something that hurt their feelings and they're in a mood. They don't know what they want to do. Um, tell me more. Why is the Page of Wands here for Scorpio and their love situation with Virgo? Okay, Knight of Wands. Um... Somebody kind of wants to be single at this time. They want to rebuild their confidence is what I'm getting with this Knight of Wands. And also, this is, if you don't know, then now you know today. This is the Playboy, <laughs> this is the Playboy of the Tarot deck, okay? So this is your, your typical Playboy, okay? So like we saw with um, Virgo side, there was lovers that came out first. The lovers came out first. So this person is very in much pursuit of Scorpio side. <laughs> is very much in pursuit of um, having passion and strong intensity with you at this time. That's their dominance. That's their focus at this time because they're still dealing with struggling with some insecurities from the past. What is the six of cups for Scorpio and, and Virgo? What is the six of cups for Scorpio towards Virgo in their love situation? King of Cups. Yeah, somebody has a lot of love for you with this King of Cups energy. Um, they share great memories, like I said, with the Six of Cups. So they still have a lot of love for you. But right now they feel like they need to be head over heart. Did we pull that card? Yes. Head over heart. Yeah, I'm better with my mind than my heart. They need to be head over heart at this time for whatever reason. Because of what maybe something happened in the past. Maybe you guys had both equally said something bad to one another or hurt each other's feelings in some way. Um, why is the Seven of Cups here for Scorpio towards Virgo in their love situation? Five of Wands. Yeah, so somebody wants to explore different options. Or they're thinking of, they either want to explore different options because we have the Knight of Wands here as well. They want to have choices at this time in love. Or, and there might have been a conflict that somebody's still confused about. 
that they need some kind of clarity on. So that's probably what this what this truth is about. So what is this five of wands? Somebody doesn't want to fight anymore because we have the hangman too. Somebody wants to surrender to that. They don't want to want no more drama. Strong, no more drama energy. I'm probably going to name this video no more drama. <laughs> so what is this five of wands for Scorpio towards Virgo and their love situation? Yeah, two of pentacles. Somebody doesn't know if they want to make a decision towards stability at this time. They're fighting. They're confused. They're fighting their thoughts. They are, they're confused that they should make this offer. But somebody's gaining clarity with this king of swords energy. So what is this king of swords for Scorpio towards Virgo in their love situation? See, six of swords came back out too. Somebody wants to move toward karma orders. Somebody kind of made up their mind in this situation. They want to move toward karma orders with you for sure. Which means they want to make peace. Tell me more. Why the King of Swords and the Six of Swords for Scorpio towards Virgo? Why the King of Swords with the Six of Swords for Scorpio and Virgo? Knight of Cups. Yeah, um, they either want to pursue other romantic prospects with this Knight of Cups energy. Um, these knights are very fleeting. Just know that. There's definitely an age difference in this situation or, or a maturity level difference. Because we got two knights here. So this could be multiple energies as well. I would sense it with the five of wands. Like somebody has options in love and they're indecisive about who they want to give it to at this time with the two of pentacles. But we have the knight of wands. Somebody wants to move towards karma orders with the knight of cups, which is water energy. So it could be Scorpio. Um, why is the knight of cups here, spirit? Why is the knight of cups here for Scorpio? Why is the knight of cups here for Scorpio? Yeah, somebody's watching. Somebody's paying heavy, close attention. You both look like you're spying on one another to see what they're, each one is up to. Why the page? Somebody's watching. I don't, I don't know if Virgo is watching Scorpio or Scorpio is watching. Um, or if Scorpio, sorry. <laughs> or if Scorpio is watching. If Scorpio is watching Virgo or Virgo is watching Scorpio or you both are watching each other at this time. Uh, why is the Page of Swords here for the Knight of Cups? Why is the Page of Swords here for the Knight of Cups? Yeah, somebody is still untrusting because there was an ending with this stuff card. So it feels like Scorpio side is a little bit more in surrender mode at this time with the hangman. They're still trying to figure out what they want to do. Um, they're really still healing. I'm feeling for this side. Who is ever energy this is? Somebody is more mentally in their head. They're in their head. I'm better with my mind than my heart. And they might be masking their feelings too. These feelings for you are eating me alive. So they're trying to avoid it. And right now they're just probably look, looking for temporary flings is what I'm sensing. More from Scorpio side. They kind of want to keep this passion be going between you. This is what I'm strongly getting. They want to keep the passion between you guys. They want to see where things could possibly lead in the future. But there's no sure thing on anything at this time. Somebody is resting on this situation at this time. Okay. Somebody's not going to make any call for stability at this time. They're in, they're trying to gain a new perspective or maybe there's a standstill. Maybe somebody doesn't want to move forward romantically in like a higher level of commitment. But there's strong passion. That's for sure. I do feel like there's somebody who wants to be in and out and explore their options, whether it be you, Scorpio, or Virgo. Okay, so I hope these messages helped. Um let me see. I'll pull some final love messages for you guys with a message of love oracle cards. Okay, I'm giving you guys comprehensive today. <laughs> okay, Virgo and Scorpio love connection. What is going on? Virgo and Scorpio love connection. What is going on? Virgo and Scorpio and their love connection. What is going on? You see that popped up and then went back in. Uh, Virgo versus Scorpio and their love situation. What is going on, Spirit? Virgo versus Scorpio and their love situ situation. What is going on? This one come out. Virgo versus Scorpio and their love situation. Okay. All right. So we have conversation. The page of wands. Both of you want to have a conversation. So if you if this situation is worth a conversation and you guys are still cool, you're cordial, there's no problems, this is not somebody from the past that you don't want to reconcile with, then somebody wants to call you and hear your voice, okay? And they want to know the truth. 
keep it real with them. If you're just looking for intensity, passion, keep it real. You know, we're grown. Keep it real. Just say, I love you. I have love for you still, but I still am healing from the past. I need to take it slowly with you. Whether it's somebody else's past or the past that you both shared with one another, and you're probably trying to rekindle it. Let this person know what the truth is with this conversation. I'm struggling, Destiny. I'm struggling to find the right path. So somebody doesn't really quite know with the Two of Pentacles what to do, what's the best decision for them. They're very much confused with that Seven of Cups. They're fighting their own thoughts. They're very, it's like they have emotions because you have the Five of Wands, meaning it's passion, but they're struggling to see what the right path is moving forward. Shadow side, you made me feel, you made me realize my flaws. Okay, Five of Pentacles energy. Somebody came to some realization about something. Um, sabotage. I mess up the good things in my life sometimes. So maybe somebody sabotaged this connection. But expect communication. If this is some if you're still in contact with this person, expect communication. One or both of you are gonna communicate. Somebody's gonna reach out. Okay, so I hope this helps. Please drop a comment down below and let me know if this resonates with you guys and if you'd like to see more Virgo versus Scorpio or whatever sign, Virgo versus whatever, you let me know in the comments and I will provide for you guys next time, okay? So I hope you guys have a beautiful day and I will see you soon. Bye, guys.